Hello. In this video, I am going to create a random scale node generator. In this patch, I do this by putting in a root node on the left keyboard and then a set of intervals that are added on top of that root node in order to generate all the nodes of a scale. And then I'm going to use the random object to pick some of these, any of these intervals randomly and add that on top of the root node. By doing this, it's possible to get any kind of scale, a major, minor, mixolydian, lydian, any kind of scale, and even cores in that scale, generate and play them randomly, all using MaxMSP. Now, this is going to be kind of the continuation of the previous video where I created a random note generator. Well, a random chromatic note generator, any kind of note could be played, any range of note could be played on that patch. And I'm going to use objects and concepts from that video, so make sure to check it out if you haven't already. Now, of course, it's easier to do this with chromatic notes. If I just want a range of notes, I can use the random object and I can just generate numbers between, let's say, 0 and 127, the entire range of MIDI notes. And I can just that play them randomly, visualizing them on a case slider, using make note, note out to play them. But things do get a bit more tricky if we start to think about scales. Because with scales, we cannot just randomly pick any notes between a range, because the notes are going to be chromatic. Instead, what we want to do is we want to define a range of specific notes or specific intervals and then use random to pick those. So to understand this better, we need to dip our toes a little bit into music theory, but it is really quite simple. So the idea is this. Any kind of scale, well, most scales have a root note. So in the case of A major, for instance, the root note is A. And then to create a scale, we can add different intervals on top of this root note. So to create the A major scale, I can just add a major second, a major third, a perfect fourth, fifth, major sixth, major seventh on top of this root note. And this is going to give me all the notes of the scale of A major. And I can, again, do this with any kind of scale, minor scale, mixed Lydian scale, Lydian scale, even scales that are bigger than seven notes or smaller than seven notes work through this operation by adding intervals to the root notes. So in this case, and I'm going to delete this for now, what I want to do this is to create a list of intervals and then use random to randomly select one of these intervals in this list. So I can create a message and then type in the intervals in the way of numbers. So zero would be nothing. So do not add anything to the root note. It would be the root note itself. And then two semitones higher. And then again, two semitones higher. Then one semitone higher. And then two more, two more, two more. I believe this is correct. So this set of intervals would give us the major scale. Now I just need a way to randomly pick something from this list. And for this, I'm going to use an object called ZL lookup. The whole family of objects starting with ZL are about lists, processing lists. So reversing lists, joining items into a list, splitting lists apart, combining the numbers in them, pretty much anything you want. If you want to work with lists, you should look at the family of objects starting with ZL. In my case, I am going to use the object ZL lookup, which is going to give me a single element of a list by giving the object an index. Let me show you. So first I'm going to connect this message to the right inlet of ZL lookup, and I'm going to also create a message box to see what it sends out. Now, if I send a number to this object, starting with zero, it is going to show me the contents of the list. So if I give it zero, oh, of course, first I have to send this list into ZL. So I click it and now ZL lookup is, yeah, looking up this list. It has this list loaded inside the object. So now I can send it to number zero. It gives me zero because the first item of this list is zero. 
If I send it one, it gives me two. And I can just go through the entire list by sending it these numbers. And if I go higher or lower than the amount of items in this list, I'm not going to see anything. I'm not going to get anything from this object. Another way to load an object, uh, load a list into this object, I mean, is by means of arguments. So I can just type zllookup and then type in the numbers that I want, which were uh, 4, 5, 7, 9, and 11, I believe. So this is going to do the same thing as creating a message with this list and then sending that message to the second inlet of this object. All right, so now what I can do is I can use random to create the index, the indices, the index numbers of this list I'm going to use as a source of intervals. So there are seven elements in this list. ZLLOOKUP is going to expect numbers between zero and six. So I can just simply type random seven. Now each time random seven receives a bang, it is going to give me a number, a random number between zero and six. I can even visualize it like this. There we go. And now as I'm banging, as I'm clicking this button, sending a bang to random seven, CL lookup is receiving these random indices and it is sending out the different numbers. And this is something I can use to create the random scale nodes. So, okay, let's think about this. Now, what I want to do is I want to send a root node represented as a MIDI number. And each time ZL lookup sends a number, I want to add this root node to that number in order, in order to get the final number representing the node in the scale that I want. So I will indeed need two K sliders. One to represent the final note that will be played and one to set the original note, the root note of the scale. And to do this combination, to do this addition, I'm going to use the plus operator, the plus object in max. Now I want to take the left outlet of K slider, the leftmost K slider, and I want to connect it to the right inlet of plus. And I'm going to do this because this is a cold inlet. Sending a message here does not trigger an output. What it does instead, it sends, it sets which number is going to be added when a number comes in through the left inlet, which is a hot inlet, meaning that it will trigger an output from this object. So I can simply connect ZL lookups left outlet here. And now after I choose, after I click and choose a root note, sending banks are going to be scale notes, added intervals on top of that root note. So for instance, right now I chose, I clicked on the middle C here and I can simply connect this num instead of sending it to a number box, I can connect to another case slider. And now as I'm banging this button, as I'm clicking on this button, it is generating notes in relation to the intervals that I have set. So I'm getting notes that are in the tone in the key tonality of C major. And I can simply sound this by creating a make note object. Let's see, let's not make it too loud and let's mm, let's make it last for one fourth of a second, so 250 milliseconds. And then I can simply do this. I can connect it to note out. And now each time I click this button, I'm getting notes of a specific scale. And let's do it with A major, what the hell. Of course, I don't need to just click this until eternity. I can simply create a metro object, a metro to get banks at a precise interval. So I'm going to give metro the argument 500. So that's going to be twice a second. And then I just need to turn it on by connecting it to a toggle and turning the toggle on.
And there you go. It's quite simple, really. But there is still one more thing I want to do. And that is to be able to put in the interval numbers myself dynamically. Maybe I want to change the intervals. Maybe I want to switch from a major scale to a minor scale. So I want to customize this list of intervals that I have created for myself. I can do this by using pack, an object that, there we go, an object that will output a list when any element changes. And pack only needs a specific kind of argument. It needs to know which kind of information it is going to receive. So in this case, I want to send, I want to create a list composed of integer numbers, so just whole numbers. So I can simply type 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and of course 0 to set pack to that kind of setting. Now if I send a bank to pack, I'm going to get precisely that list. And now by sending numbers to these inlets, I can customize in real time the contents of this list. And each time I change something, each time I send a number to one of these inlets, it is going to change this list and it is going to send out the new changed list. So for instance, I'm going to change the last element to 127. And if I do that, it sends out the same list, but only the last element has changed. So now I can simply just connect number boxes to all of these inlets. Well, let's see if I can do this quickly enough. Fantastic. And of course, I can visualize the result as well and also connect this outgoing list to ZL lookup so that those intervals will be used when random sends an index number. And let's say I want to use, I don't know, a minor scale. So the first interval would be zero because it would be the root note itself. And then two semitones, one semitone, two semitones, two semitones, one semitone, and yet again, two semitones. Now, when I do this, as you can see, it has sent out the list 0, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10. And it's also sent to ZL lookup, loading that object with that list. So now this argument is not being used anymore. It has received a new list, and it is going to send out numbers, elements from that list when it receives the index number. Let's hear it. That is really cool. And it is possible to do really awesome things just by using this random scale note generator. For example, just a very quick example, in fact, I can simply copy this, right? I'm just going to copy and paste. Even though it doesn't, it uh, looks a bit messy if I just copy and paste everything. And I am going to also set the same intervals here. So that is 0, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, and 10. And I'm going to connect the first toggle to both of, met both of the Metro objects. And I also want to make the right one a right one a bit slower and the left one much faster. So now the left metro is going to send out banks once every 100 milliseconds and the right one is going to do that once every 400 milliseconds. Then I am going to set the same root note, but the right one is going to be, I don't know, two octaves lower. So this is a high A, this is a low A. And let's see how this sounds. And here it is. I have created a random scale note generator. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it will be useful to you and thank you for watching.